On this edition of ISO Watch, I am looking at a distribution that I have not seen in about two years, roughly. Maybe even longer. Who knows? <laughs> we are looking at Fedora 24 right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Pay very close attention. The following statement may one day save your life. This is not a review. You are watching a usability experiment in a virtual machine. You are getting my initial impression of the software. I will miss any elements which are transparent to end users on first glance. I do not take the time to research features. That is your responsibility if you want to try the software. I will not spend enough time with this distribution to form a valid opinion. Viewers who are offended by this policy are advised to peruse alternative venues for their edification. With that out of the way, I give you Fedora 24. For those of you who do not know, Fedora is a community-driven project sponsored by Red Hat Linux, which is why I chose the logo that I did on the opening uh, slide. So <laughs> I thought it would be kind of cool well, since, you know, Red Hat's sponsoring this, why not use the Blue Hat logo? <laughs> All right, we are looking at the Workstation Edition that you're seeing here on the screen, and this is powered by Gnome Shell. In my opinion, I feel Gnome Shell is a very dumbed-down desktop. Uh, out of the box, it does not give you any hardly any customization options. There are a few, but uh, if you want to really tweak a system and uh, have something that's completely yours, Gnome Shell is not the way to go. Uh, before we dig into this, I did want to point out that if you do visit spins.fedoraproject.org, you can get this um, with the Net Install Edition, so that you can pick and choose which software is loaded on your Fedora 24. You can get the KDE Plasma Desktop. There's a screenshot over here. Here's a screenshot of the XFCE Desktop. They also have the LXDE Desktop. The Mate slash Compiz desktop. The Cinnamon desktop. And I happen to like Cinnamon uh, with, with what they did with the uh, GNOME 3. And then, of course, Sugar or SOAS desktop for the kids. If we click the upper right three icons, four icons. There's a little drop down here. This is all one thing. You're going to notice when we mouse over it, it highlights the whole thing. All right. It doesn't matter which one of these you click. You just click any one of these and you get all of the controls for them, such as for the volume control. And you'll see the volume control does update there. You can manage your network connection. Okay. You also have logout and account settings here. Then you have quick access to your settings center. You can lock your screen or power out of your session. Clicking on the center uh, date and time brings up your calendar. To interact, you would click the word activities in the upper left. You have a quick launch to Firefox, your email reader, rhythm box for music, Shotwell for managing photos, Nautilus for managing files, the software center, and uh, these little uh, buttons here when you click these. It will give you a listing of all of the applications you have installed. Now, something I want to mention is uh, I did do a little bit of playing around. I did install a few applications and then uh, I uninstalled everything so I can show you exactly what you are getting when you install Fedora 24 Workstation, and pretty much this is it. You get boxes, which I believe is for um, doing virtual machines. I've never tried this software yet. Maybe one day I will eventually have a look at it. 
Cheese webcam booth comes with this. Um, you have your clocks utility, manage your contents, documents, evolution for email, Nautilus for files, Firefox, the LibreOffice suite comes with this, comes with a map reader, rhythm box, your control settings, Shotwell software, Sundry has um, a problem reporting and uh, an SE Linux troubleshooting tool. Get it for editing text, a video player, and a weather applet. All right, you also have a number of utilities to get the most out of this system. Now, um, ah, looks like I didn't actually remove that. You do not get the tweak tool with this. This is something I had to install separately. And basically, with the tweak tool, you can change this if you want to. For instance, let's say I uh, open up the file manager pretty much this is the look you get and the icons are rather plain looking you know so um using the tweak tool you can change the icons and you can change the theming and something of interest with the gnome tweak tool is that it now has a global dark theme with this which i think is pretty neat so if we close this now we need to close all windows and then reopen them. And it didn't work this time. <laughs> How do you like that? Okay, well it says that the global dark theme is on and it's showing here. I probably have to log out and log back in. Let's do that. All right, there we go. Now we've got our global dark theme. Before, I didn't have to log out and log back in uh, to do this. All right, um, now uh, let's have a quick look at their software center here. Because pretty much, if you're going to do things from a GUI, this is the way you're going to do it. We'll close this. You will notice that this is not very responsive for me. However, I've seen Cinnamon was uh, quite a bit more responsive than this is. And here is the software center. All right, now, if, you're, if you want a package management utility similar to something like Synaptic, you're going to have to install it. It's not included out of the box. So we'll just do a search for package. manager okay and you'll get the yum extender dnf uh now prior to shooting i actually tried to use yum to install open vm tools and it gave me a warning stating that yum has been deprecated and that uh you would use dnf now so i guess it's dnf install the package name in the terminal and it will do that for you i could be wrong i think there's also a zipper or is that in suit uh susa i can't remember oh well defer back to uh the disclaimer at the beginning of the video um i can't remember and i look at so many linux distributions anyway it's hard to remember all of this stuff so yeah all right let's go ahead and close this and we'll take a quick look at what we just installed here if we go into our uh applications okay you'll see the yum extender is in here now Ah, and this is telling us that we have some items in here uh, that need to be updated on this already. So, very interesting that we could see this. But, um, for those of you who have to have a package manager, uh, that's like uh, Synaptic or what we have in uh, Manjaro, Pamac, uh, 
this is the utility you want. It's a shame they couldn't include all of this with the uh, distribution um, when you first install it, so you don't have to add these items later. So at the end of the day, Fedora 24 Workstation gives you a base bone system that you can build on top of. And while GNOME Shell or GNOME 3.20 does not give you very many customization options out of the box, you can dig around and find some hacks and tweaks online to be able to tweak this to look exactly how you want it. Personally, for me, though, I need a desktop that already has those features readily available so that I can customize my system and balance my workflow the way I want. Fedora uh, has been in the Linux scene for many, many years. It is community-driven and is powered by Red Hat Linux, and it is my understanding that Fedora is the staging ground where uh, packages are tested that may eventually get brought over to the Red Hat project. That's all I have on this. If you think this is something that you would like to try out, please visit the link in the description, and when you click the download links, it will eventually take you to a page where you can look at some of the other spins, and you can get uh, a different desktop of your choice, and I showed screenshots earlier of all of those. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing next on the Cup of Linux show, but I'm sure I'll have something equally exciting. Until then, peace out. Mm -hmm.